Hi, welcome to C Linux tutorials for experienced people. Yeah. Uh, in this session, I'm trying to uh, produce a crash scenario and uh, I will help you how to debug uh, the crash scenario by using GDB. This is the most simple session, uh, simple debugging scenario I'm handling in my first uh, debugging session. Yeah. I think I have calculator.c as a sample code and I will produce the crash in the calculator.c. Yeah, what it has, it has got a calculator implementation. Yeah, it is taking two numbers and it is taking two numbers and depending on the choice it is performing some calculations and it is doing something where you want me to produce the crash let us add the scenario crash scenario in add function okay so now uh, yeah i have one more c file i have one more c file called one dot c where i have some functions uh, let me copy this here one dot c one dot star to here yeah copy all so now let's open calculator dot c okay and let's open one dot c as well okay so what i will try to do is i will declare a pointer here yeah let's include the yesterday dot h header here i will declare a pointer here n star ptr is equal to null and I'm trying to store some value into that pointer and what is the result here so I'm trying to store a null I'm trying to store a value into a null pointer it should produce a crash let's see yeah, I forgot to call fun one here. Yeah. Let me call fun one. Yeah, ash include one dot h. Let me include the header. Now I can call fun one. Okay. So fun one. Let us compile these two files, okay? Yeah, let's see. Okay. GCC minus four calculator calculator dot C and one dot C, okay? So there are some errors actually. So let us resolve the errors one by one. Calculator dot C. So it says some redeclarations. Yeah, there are redeclarations here. Let us remove these. Okay. So let let us think that it is op operating only on the integers. Okay. So what is the other error we got? The other is the warning. All are redeclaration errors. We resolve, and the other one is, yeah. Format percentage takes place. Argument of n star, but it is double star. Okay, now it should be resolved because we removed the double declaration. Okay, yeah, it's compiled. Let's run this. Dot slash calculator okay I will enter two numbers 12 and 13 and choice what choice I should enter so if you see my code calculator dot C the choice plus is causing the add function in and in the add function I'm calling 
fun one which is producing the crash okay yeah add let us give add as the choice it did not take okay let us change the code okay it seems it's not working let's see what is the issue so here i am taking choice and it is switching to ask value okay so let this be <coughs> one two three four one two three and four okay yeah let's compile again let's run it again so let this be 12 and 13 and choice is one yeah you can see segmentation fault and core dumped so the last printf we saw is fun1.c fun1 and line number four okay so if we see 1.c you can see fun1 right yeah this has been printed so by by looking at the log we can find out this is the last log so we can see the code around this yeah that is the one way just think if you don't have a log if you don't have a printer for logging okay now it is crashing yeah let's see yeah it crashed it crashed without any log so how to debug this actually yeah let's use gdb to debug this crash issue okay yeah to use the gdb we have to enable the debugging symbols in the application while compiling so to enable the debugging symbols we use minus g option while compiling it adds the debug debugging symbol for gdb okay yeah we'll add let's load the binary in gdb yeah we can load the binary in gdb by using gdb command along with the binary name binary name is calculator right yeah calculator yeah yeah it it is successfully read the symbols from the calculator code calculator application it means it is able to read the symbol and in case of crashes it is the backtest information is available the symbol information is available okay yeah let's run this R is for running or we can use run command also yeah run enter two numbers I will enter 12 and 13 again yeah enter your choice yeah we are reproducing the crash in the choice one okay yeah it crashed program received six segv in the segmentation fault and it pointed out the line number and the line as well it is at 1.c line number 5 and the statement is this one this is producing the crash so now we came to know right how to debug the crash issue by using gdb by loading the application into the gdb and running the application in the gdb and reproduce the crash and get the backtrace so if you use backtrace command it gives the backtrace so main function called add function and add function called fun1 and crash this in the fun1 okay i hope you enjoyed this session this is something useful for the people who are struggling with debugging yeah thanks guys